What's up guys, Chris here, AKA the Clever Guru. Today, I wanna to show you a new feature that has been brought to the Nearpod app. Now, in my previous video, I talked about how Nearpod is a great app to engage your students and have it more collaborative uh, in your virtual environment. Recently, Nearpod has added a new feature called video to their app platform that is very similar to that of a platform called Edpuzzle. Now, for those of you that have never used Edpuzzle, Edpuzzle is a application that allows you to in, uh, take a video and embed interactive uh, questions in that video. So students, when they're watching it, they would have to uh, answer a certain question in order to move on through the video. Now first, I'm gonna show you, I've created a video using the Nearpod. I've taken a old video that I've done in the past. I've added the Nearpod elements to it and just kind of show you what it looks like to start off with and then we'll get into how to set it up, okay? So first, as you see on the left screen is the teacher screen, on the right screen is the student screen. So. When we are just uh, showing this, we must understand that each screen has the ability to play their own video at their own time. So I'm not going to play these videos uh, at the same time for the sake of um, the sound is going to uh, be off or is, you're going to hear two things of sound at the same time. But I do want to emphasize that on the student screen, you see the time. It stops at a minute and 27 seconds. The actual video is eight minutes long, a little over almost nine minutes long. So what this means is the student's going to be able to watch the first part before uh, the first interactive uh, uh, assignment pops up. Okay. So as you see, the student can watch. What's up, guys? Gonna watch you ever wanted time. to have a smart so barn, for a smart garage? But or just if I were to go all the way to the end of the screen on the student side, we see that it stays paused, okay? Now, from a teacher's perspective, they may be playing the video um, from, you know, their screen as well, but with their, you know, maybe their sounds on silent or kids are listening to it with headphones or however it may be. But when they're doing this and they get to the interactive question, which and is corresponding with the blue dot on the teacher screen. We go up to the barn and- You're gonna see that it stops the video, ask to start the activity, you'll hit start, and from there, the first question will pop up. Now, what's cool about this is on the teacher screen, you get this live feedback. So whenever a student pops in the answer, you'll instantly see the live feedback. So the question was, where did I get the smart plug? So the smart plug, I bought it on Amazon. So I'm gonna choose Amazon, okay? And then as a student, I hit submit. And now it tells me instantly that I got it right as a student. And from a teacher's perspective, it shows 100%. So right then and there, it gives you that instant feedback. Now, let's go through the process and showing you how to set this up, okay? So where we're gonna go, we're gonna go to nearpod.com. And I showed you this screen prior to emphasize last time in my last video where I talked about Nearpod, I, I talked about setting it up through Google Slides. For this element, you're not gonna be able to do that. You have to set things up through Nearpod and present through Nearpod. So we'll go to nearpod.com, okay? From here, we have, this is our dashboard, so to speak. At the top, you'll see the new button. We'll click new and we'll choose video. Now you see a yellow box beside video. That means it's in beta form. So it's, this is not the final version of this feature. So when I click on video, a new screen is gonna pop up and it shows a list of videos. It shows already pre-made videos that are here. Um, but up here, we're gonna search we're gonna to go to YouTube because I'm just gonna search for a video via YouTube. 
And up here, I'm just gonna search for the same video that I just did. Um, so I'm gonna shorten out the title to turn in smart barn, okay? And it should, it's the, it's, pops up on the first one. So this is the video I wanna use. So as a teacher, I'm gonna hit save. And again, it pops up the video. Now, this is where you as a teacher have the ability to put in your activities. So I can go to random spots in this video and let's say at 43 seconds, or let's say like the last video, around a minute, I pop in an activity. Now as of right now, and this, is, and this I do believe is because it's in beta form, the only two choices you have are open-ending question and a multiple choice question. So if I choose multiple choice, you'll get a screen similar to the one you just saw in the, in the example. Open-ended uh, provides, you know, you ask the question, students respond, and from a teacher standpoint, it provides the feedbacks of the responses. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily tell you if it's right or wrong. You have to judge if it's right or wrong. Um, so again, we're just gonna put multiple choice and we'll put um, what color is the plug. Okay, something simple. Um, so our answer is white, red, we'll add another answer, um, black, and finally we'll just put no color, okay? From here, you notice beside each answer you see a check mark. Just choose the right answer by clicking on the check mark, okay? So from there, we have our question, we have our four choices, and we have the one that's the correct answer. All we have to do is simply hit save, okay? And there it pops up with a blue dot that, says, that shows that at a minute 04, there's a multiple choice question, okay? If I wanna now put in um, maybe an open-ended question, so we'll go a minute 44, choose activity, open-ended question, um, how did I set up the smart plug? Will be our question, and I simply hit, you know, I simply type the question, put a question mark in, and I just hit save. And so again, it tells us at a minute 44, there's an open-ended question. When we are done, you as a teacher can break this video down as much as you want. You can add as many questions to it as you want. When you are done, you will hit save. Now you can title the uh, lesson. So new barn video is what I'm gonna title it. I'll hit save and exit. From there, it's saving right here. Okay, so give it a, check, a second to save. And boom, the lesson's generated. Now, you can do front of the class. And what this is, is almost, if you're sharing this video to the front of a class and you want the group to answer things as a whole, you know, as group as a group session, you would choose that. Live participation is what we were doing just a second ago. And student pace is what it is, student pace. So they would just view the video. They would, when they get to the questions, the video would stop, they would answer, and then move on. Um, and then teachers will get live feedback as it as it goes uh, about it, okay? So again, um, if we wanna do live participation like we just did, we click on that. It provides a class code. So we're gonna copy that. And on the right screen, we have the student screen. And we're again, like the previous video, we're gonna type in join Nearpod. We choose the first one. Hit paste, and now we set our name up, and now we can start our lesson, okay? And again, the teacher has their lesson over here as well. The teacher will get to the open-ended question, okay? So when the teacher gets to the open-ended question, dot or a Google dot that are, it will start the activity, okay? And again, um, the students will choose the correct answer. The plug was white, so if I choose white, hit submit, 
boom, you get your feedback, okay, instantly. And now we can this is an move echo on dot with the or a, when I go to the this is an echo short um, and you're gonna see answer question that or the, open ended question. I hit start activity, okay, and now you see how did I set up the smart plug? So I set up the smart plug, um, set up using my phone, okay. I hit submit, I hit submit again, and again, it doesn't say right or wrong, it's, it's more or less a participation grade that it gives, but from a teacher standpoint, you have the student's name and then the answer that they gave. Again, guys, this is a very useful tool that you as educators can use to make uh, your virtual environment as well as face-to-face -face environment very engaging and, and just a collaborative piece uh, for your students. This kind of forces them to watch things that you're presenting to them because there are interactive pieces within them and it just provides them an element in which they may not be as bored and doing because there are activities embedded in them. Again, as I stated, this is a beta uh, software or beta feature that Nearpod is using. So as it progresses, there may be new features that are added to it later on. Guys, I wanna thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and please subscribe to the channel as it really helps things out. Also guys, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this new feature that Nearpod has to offer. Guys, I hope you had a great day. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Peace out guys.